Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State, where we're expecting a rather brutal winter, I should think, judging from all the weather's going right now. In Sinus Valley, which is south of Rochester, New York, where the trees raise havoc on people's allergies every year. All right, this is Curiosity Soul 110, right mast cam. I got a little surprise for you, like I did in the last video. First, we have a few odd objects in the first photo. Uh, right here, to the right of this boulder, this is... Looks like a cylindrical object, almost certainly artificial. As usual, they don't get close enough to do a detailed examination of these things. But I'm thinking it's artificial, that's what it looks like. Uh, reason for artificiality, it's very smooth, it's very straight, it's got a couple of projections on top, possibly a little tower standing up from it. So yeah, that object is artificial, mailbox shaped type thing, don't know what it would do. Obviously not a mailbox. And obviously ignored. Not by me, by me, uh, NASA. Now let's go over here. Maybe somebody has better equipment than I do. It looks like there's a little tower here, one of two actually, sitting on top of this rock. I don't expect that that's a uh, plant, so this may not be a rock underneath. There's indications here that it's actually got a tread-like deal here. Almost like a tank would have, only it's much too small, obviously. If that wasn't enough, over here on the right, there's yet another little tower object, tower like object, sticking right up from here. And if that isn't enough, well, I saw another one up in this area, it's right here. This looks like it has a four-sided base and a tower, and it's kind of sticking up. So there's another tower. There's at least three of them in this photo. Three to four. We're talking, by tower, I mean it's little. It's not big. Here is another type of object. This thing's got kind of a rectangular base. Kind of sets up on a post and this round circular top to it, which is inconsistent with rock. It looks like it's encrusted by vegetation. That's what I believe it to be. It's encrusted by vegetation. Probably a very old object. What its function would be, I don't know. It may not even be round. It might actually be rectangular. I can't tell in poor resolution. Plus the fact they don't get close enough. And I got at least one or more object in this photo to show you. This is a strange, strange thing right here. It appears to be sticking up above the ground and there's kind of a hood there. Once again, they're not showing it. And I think this is one of the points that I'm getting at is that this is called misappropriation of funds. Because if they know about life on that plant, they have a responsibility to tell us about the life. They, they cannot keep it to themselves. That's misappropriation of public funds. It's a goddamn felony, and I'm tired of it. Don't know what that is. 
does not look natural. And then we have still more down here. Uh, kind of a horseshoe object, horseshoe shaped object. Rocks don't normally form like that, so it's not a rock. And right beside it, kind of a bent type thing. I just don't know. It's not natural. There's too many of these things for them all to be natural. Like I said, this is a misappropriation of public funds. And those of you who think that the public should not be told, you're supporting what is probably a crime. So, there's actually a lot in this photo that I just don't get close enough to uh, show what they should be showing. Next slide. As I said, I got a little surprise for you. Uh, it is in this photo. I'll show it in a minute. It's a pretty astonishing thing, even though it's pretty small. Let's take a look at this object here. This has all the trappings of a small structure. Right beside this large boulder here. And then we have this, looks like some sort of a roof structure, almost like a pavilion. There's a support right there, and then there's plenty of daylight underneath there. This is why I say it's a structure. It's not a boulder sitting on the ground. Interesting. I wish I could get right up close to it. Up in here, there's some stuff. These look like almost stands of fine grasses. It's too far away to tell. You can see partially through them. Well, they might just be phonographic anomalies, but I don't think so. We got some interesting stuff. We have this blue-green coloration again. These rocks are encrusted by vegetation. Nothing I haven't seen before. But take a look in through here. There's something, some kind of a pattern that I can't bring out because I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the right programs, but there appears to be something through here. It's just kind of like a pattern. I can't make it out. I'm not going to dwell on it. Looking through here, there doesn't seem to be much other than this curious object. And the usual, you know, blue-green coloration vegetation on these rocks. So, why don't we go over and take a look at... The little surprise I've been promising you. And this may not come out very well. You're going to have to put this on your computer. It's on the extreme left edge. First of all, we got a little plant or something that's sticking up here. We have another one over here. And probably another one here. But take a look right here above this uh, rocky area where there's a possible plant sticking up. It's like a grid pattern. It's not a photographic anomaly, I'm certain of that. It looks like a checkerboard, of all things. But what I'm thinking, it's rectangular, and I'm thinking it's some sort of a grid or screen like you might see um, like you might see in front of a fan or something like that. I don't know. It's rectangular and it's divided into two parts. On the right, right side, the pattern isn't the same. It looks more decorative than it does on the left. 
I'm currently unable to identify this, but it's not natural. You're going to call that natural? You need a psychiatrist. I'm sorry. I hate saying I'm not the biggest fan of psychobabblers, but come on. That's not natural. Alrighty. So, that's a little surprise I had for you. Maybe somebody can bring that out. You want to sneak in Hunter Enterprises and drag and drop the photos, and we'll go from there. Try to enhance it, bring it out, show people that's not natural. I provide the documentation, and it's up to somebody with better programs and equipment than I have to try to bring that out. That's about it for this photo. Not a lot more. And we will move right along to the next slide. Okay, this photo, I'm going to show you the main thing. This isn't the main thing, but this is obviously, this is a right angle artifact. Probably some structural brick-like object. This looks like there's a few more. This is kind of a tetrahedon type thing. But right down here, I've thrown my hands up in disgust looking at this. Are they all rocks? Or some of them plants? I think we got a little bit of mold for them. If they're rocks, then why aren't they sitting right on the ground? And they're sticking up. Unfortunately, I don't have any solid answers for this area. It's frustrated me and frustrated me. I've looked at them. There's a couple of things. Right here, I can see a stem with a plant sticking up. That is a plant. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those rocks don't grow on stems. Up here, we have what is unquestionably an artificial object. Kind of a rectangular thing. It sticks right off and has the lat hood. That thing sticks up right there. It kind of looks like an arrowhead. Once again, it's frustrating. They don't get close enough to study these things. So all I can do is approximate guesses. I want to say these are all plants. I want to say, say they're rocks. But I think the truth is halfway in between. I think some of them are rocks. Some of them may be whatever passes for Martian cacti. I don't know. I've thrown my hands up in disgust on this particular formation. There's a little plant right there sticking up. That cannot be a rock. Like I said, I'm disgusted with this, this formation, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Some of them are doubtless rocks. Some of them are doubtless plants. Good luck figuring out which is which. Other than that, I showed you that brick-like artifact right there. Nice and smooth on top, isn't it? And smooth here and smooth on the side. That's manufactured, folks. I mean, give me a fucking break. Are you going to tell me that's... Anything but manufactured? I'm not going to listen. Here's another object. Kind of similar type thing. Uh, not much else. Like I said, this is going to be a short one. Here's the tower. I don't know if this is one of the same towers. We can get a better idea sticks right up and you can kind of see through the base so that's not natural I don't believe it to be a plant 
I can't prove that, but I don't believe it is. Looks like it kind of sticks up above the surface of the rock. It might be some sort of life form. I don't know. Very, very strange series of photos. And we'll go to number four. Number four will only take a sec. There's nothing in it, really. This is the last one. A uh, lot of little holes in this rock. One of the things I've noticed is that Martian plants apparently tend to burrow into the rocks. Um, creating these holes. There's some really dramatic photos in the spirit photos that show that. It's probably some sort of adaptation due to the climate on Mars. I would think. Perhaps there's a lot of water in Martian rocks or, you know, they provide a little shelter, obviously. Kind of a strange object here. May or may not be natural. That's about it. I'm not going to spend much time on this photo. There isn't much in it, in my opinion. One strange thing here. But, you know, you, I showed that grid-like object. That should be it right there. How anyone could call that a rock, you got to be out of your mind. It's got like that checkerboard pattern on one side and a different type of pattern on the other side. But it's not natural. Come on. You're going to call that natural? Check yourself in, it's, like I said. you got to be a nut. Or serious not to call something like that natural. I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's on Pluto. If it's not natural, it's not natural. I don't care if it's on Pluto. Not that we'll ever see a probe there in our lifetime. But you know, these people have the responsibility to tell us. They say they're looking for life. There's life in these photos, and they don't talk about it. That's misappropriation of funds. Hi, this is Artifacts again. Uh, it's like I was saying before I got cut off by my computer. That's misappropriation of funds when they found things and they're not telling the public about it. So they say they're looking for life, and they've already found it, and they know about the plants, which they do. And they don't tell the public. They don't say, yeah, we found it. We're looking for other forms of life. We know about the plants. Then it wouldn't be misappropriation of funds. But when they're saying, well, we're looking for microbial life. We haven't found any life yet. That's fraud. It's misappropriation of public funds, and somebody needs to pay for it. It's simple as that. I really think we, you know, Americans need to take the lead. There's an old saying, when leaders won't lead, the people need to lead the leaders. And I have no problem with that. Folks, we, we still have the power. If we all get together... If we all got together, let's say 250 million Americans got together and all demanded answers from NASA, they'd have no pro possibility other than to capitulate. We can still clog this government up and tell them, look, we're tired of the lies. We know about the artifacts on that planet. We want the whole story. We know about the plant. We gotta get the message out. People have got to understand they are be you are being defrauded. This is what this amounts to. It is fraud. It is illegal. They have no right not to tell the public. No right whatsoever. I don't know how else to put it to you. I'm way over time. I didn't have time for this to start with, so I'm gonna have to cut this off. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this has been Disclosure, 
Soul 110 right mass cam. Contact your representatives and demand answers. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for viewing. And spread this video any way you can.